some of the things that have been talked about for uh, addressing too big to fail, uh, you know, partly has to do with resolution regimes, partly has to do with uh, a new regulatory environment. Uh, part of the, a new regulatory environment would be some kind of uh, so-called systemic risk regulation. You would look at these firms that you think pose a threat in terms of uh, systemic risk. That is, if they failed suddenly, they could ignite a panic uh, worldwide or upset uh, financial markets in a way that would be very damaging for the macro economy. If you think a company uh, poses that kind of risk, you might be willing to put more regulations on that type of, uh, of company. And uh, there's many proposals to try to, to, try to do that. Um, some of them involve uh, uh, giving that authority to the Fed. Other proposals involve giving that authority to a council of, uh, of regulators. Um, so there's you know, a variety of arguments about that. I think more important is the idea that you should have a resolution regime for these kinds of companies. One of the things that happens in small bank regulation is that uh, we do allow failure of smaller banks, and when they do fail, we have a resolution regime in place. We do not send small banks to bankruptcy court uh, when they fail. The FDIC actually closes down smaller banks. Uh, that system works uh, pretty well, actually. So what you'd like is something like that for these very large uh, financial institutions. But it's much more difficult for the large institutions, the so-called too-big-to-fail institutions, because uh, partly because they're not just banks, they're bank conglomerates. They do many things other than just ordinary commercial banking. Uh, they're also global enterprises. Many of them have... Uh, 50% uh, or more of their business outside the U.S., so you would need some global coordination when you're thinking about how to shut them down in a crisis environment. And so there's, you know, they're big, complicated enterprises. Still, though, you'd like to be able to say, if, you know, fine, you go ahead, you run your business, you make your bets, and if it doesn't turn out well, we're going to come in and shut you down. Where you're not going to be able to get uh, taxpayer money uh, to get bailed out. So. To be able to have the resolution regime in place is a way to enforce market discipline on these companies and get them not to uh, take risk uh, only with uh, the upside potential and no downside for the, for the company. If you, if you face a, a, a business person with that kind of trade-off, they're going to take too much risk, which is what many think happened uh, coming into this crisis.